Hi guys, thanks for tuning into this car tech video. In this video, we're going to be doing a short demonstration of the Autel Maxicom MK808 kit. Now, the kit is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'm going to put a link to this kit in the description below this video. So what I would say is uh, obviously we're in a Porsche Cayenne right now as you could probably see We've got uh, ABS warning lights and a load of warning lights showing on this dashboard So the purpose of this video is really just to show you this tool Diagnose an ABS fault in a Porsche Simple as that uh, So we click on to diagnostics and we go through the motion of selecting our vehicle So it's right at the start there for us and we're going to click on to automatic selection. It's automatically going to detect which vehicle you're in, which saves a lot of time, especially for uh, garages and technicians. If they're not exactly sure on the exact spec of the car, they just click on read and it'll automatically detect which vehicle you're in, which it's done right here for us. So we'll click on to yes, confirm that's our vehicle. And we're going to have a look at the control unit and it's the PSM, so it, this is the Porsche Stability Management, that's their word for ABS system. You can do an automatic scan as well if you want, which automatically scans the whole car, um, but that takes a little bit longer. Obviously we know there's a problem with the ABS system, so we're just gonna go straight there. So click on to read codes, and it's giving us one fault, 011B0C front left speed sensor electrical fault and that is pretty much what we expected to see we expected it to be an ABS sensor at fault uh, 99 times out of 100 if you get an ABS fault it's going to be an ABS sensor uh, the other 1% could be something like an ABS pump or an ABS module um, but that's 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 quite rare. So um, good news, the best of a bad world, best of a bad bunch, should I say? Front left ABS ABS sensor. So once we've put a new ABS sensor in, it's really just a case of coming back into the vehicle and clicking on the uh, the erase codes option. I mean, I can do that now, but it won't do anything. Just click on yes. It'll tell us that it's erased the codes, which it will. This job will have. This tool will have done its job. It's just the vehicle state is not correct the vehicle hasn't got a new sensor in so it's automatically just going to keep doing this until it has a new ABS sensor in so we can go back in we can go back into read codes the same code is is going to be there so that is in a nutshell as I say the tool just just really diagnosing a fault in the ABS system uh, we've got lots of different systems that we can hook into uh, lots of different vehicles not only that, but you've got lots of service icons. Oh, we come out of this. Service functions like DPF, um, battery management, brake bleeds, injector coating, steering angle sensor. There's so much you can do with this tool. So that's it. And uh, as I say, just a quick mention, it is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'll put the link to this kit in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps.